Hello and welcome back to question 1c for the 2022 scholarship exam. So given x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, we know that x is less than 0, find the exact value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Alright, for this question, uh, we actually have a, pa a palindromic uh, polynomial here, so it reads exactly, the, the coefficients read exactly the same forwards and backwards. And you notice that because uh, x, x, uh, x power 4 uh, has a coefficient of 1, which is the same as 1, and we have x to the power 3 has a coefficient of 1, which is the same as the coefficient of x, and we have uh, just negative 4x squared at the middle. So notice that uh, in this case, if we divide everything by exactly half of the highest order of power of this polynomial by half, we actually get... Um, Something that looks something like this. We have x squared plus x minus 4 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. And notice that we can actually uh, group x squared and 1 plus uh, 1 over x squared. So we can say that we have 1 this. And we also have x and 1 over x. So we can group those together. And we have minus 4 equals to 0. In this case, uh, we, we can actually rewrite x squared plus 1 over x squared as 1 over x, uh, not 1 over x, well, so x plus 1 over x whole squared, and then we can remain everything here. However, when we have x plus 1 over x whole squared, uh, we actually get an extra 2 from this uh, expansion. So when we have x times 1 over x, we get 1, and that's multiplied by 2 times, so we will have an extra 2. So we're gonna if we add two on one side, we have to add two on the other side. So remain to add two here. And now we can actually use a very familiar substitution. So if we see in level three calculus, this is used uh, very often in the papers. So it's when you have when you can substitute um one uh one variable for another variable and make it a polynomial. So in this case, we can substitute x plus one over x as another variable. We call it r, and we will actually have a polynomial expression. So we have r squared plus r minus 6 equals 0. Brilliant, so now we have our r plus 3 times r minus 2 equals 0. So therefore we know that r is 2 or r equals to negative 3. Uh, let's look at the case that r equals to 2 first. So we can say that x plus 1 over x equals to 2. Uh, let's multiply through by x. So we have x squared plus 1 equals to 2x. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. That's pretty good because now we can have x minus 1 whole squared equals 0. So therefore, x equals to 1. Uh, so this doesn't look very good because um, we're looking here x equals to 1, but we look but we know that x is less than 0. So we're not interested in this uh, in this solution. We're not really interested in this one. So let's look at r equals negative 3. So if x plus 1 over x equals to negative 3, we multiply through by x. So x squared plus 1 uh, plus 3x equals to 0. So therefore, x equals to negative 3 plus or minus square root of, uh, in this case, 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times of 1 times of c, which is 1, all over 2. So x equals to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus 1 half square root of 5. And in this case, uh, square root of 5 times 1 half is actually less than 3 over 2. So both solutions are negative. And that's brilliant because that's exactly what we want. Alright, so uh, some people uh, might actually think that we should, right now, we should just plug in x equals to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus 1 half of square root of 5 into the expression of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And this, uh, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, uh, you might think that having to make, find the uh, third, third square of this, not third square, finding the third power of this expression is pretty difficult and very time consuming. And in the scholarship exam, you really, uh, it's, we really don't have much time to be expanding out brackets three times. So I think a better solution is actually looking at what we have back at this step here. We have that x plus 1 over x equals negative 3. We can employ a similar trick and we say that we want to find an expression for 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 3. And this is very easy to expand because like we just use the binomial expression. So we have um, 1, so we have 3 choose of 0 times of x cubed, uh, plus of 3 times of, in this case we have 1 lot of x times of 2 lots of um, 1 over x, so 1 over x squared. And we're going to have 3 lots of 3 choosing x twice, so we have 2x squared, and we have... Um, 
choosing one over x once, so we have one of that, and we also have plus off one over x cubed. All right, so what does this give us? It gives us x cubed plus one over x cubed. That's what we want. So that's what we actually want to find at the end. Plus three times off uh, x times one over x uh, squared is one over x, and three times of x squared times one over x is x. So we have three times of one of x plus one over x. And that is equal to um, x plus 1 over x cubed, which we know is negative 3, so that's negative 27. And we also know that 1 over x plus 1 over x is negative 3, and that's 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So we can actually say that x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals to negative 18. And we're done. That's all we need to do. Uh, for this question, we get an answer of negative... Um, Sorry, negative 18 and I mean this question is just like you need to know some little little tricks here and there in this case we do have a palindromic polynomial so you should so noticing that you're able to multiply by half the degree of the highest power to get um, to get something that can be replaced by a simpler polynomial is pretty important that's a little trick that you need to know and also if you are able to know that um, know the trick that x plus 1 over x all to the power of three can give you something that's very that looks very similar to x cubed plus one over x to the power of three. That also can save you a lot of time in this question. So, as a summary, it's a pretty difficult question because uh, if you don't know if you don't know the trick, then it might be pretty difficult to solve. But once you know the trick, there's nothing really, there's nothing really that difficult. Like it's just solving polynomial equations and getting the final answer negative eighteen. So nothing really tricky other than uh, knowing that trick to begin with. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in question 2A.